So today we're going American style. We've got garage slash yard sales. So welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name's Jewel Dress. This is Retro Reselling. And like I said, today is a yard sale slash garage sale trail type thing. My first ever one I've ever done. There's a Facebook group set up for it and they've done a map. I'll try and put the map here if I can. There's a lot to get through. Uh, so I have no idea what it's going to be like. I don't know if they're all going to be open. Half of them there, half of them not. If they're going to have decent stuff out. It's as much as a mystery to me as it is to you watching. No idea what I'm going to pick up. If anything, I might fill the car, run out of money, have to fill up. Who knows? So yeah. One for the American type viewers, I know I get a few Americans. Don't know if it'll be similar or different to your yard sales. Obviously I'll watch a few uh, American YouTubers when I go garage sailing and stuff, it looks cool. So yeah, a taste of America today. So I'm at the first one I think. I don't really know what I'm looking out for, apart from stuff I'm guessing out the front. So again, same with all the other videos like I've sourcing. I've got a GoPro, I've attached it to my backpack, I'm going to wear it along and hopefully sort of see how I get on. A uh, bit of negotiations, bit of missing out. Hopefully I don't make any mistakes this time. I'm nice and awake. It's 10 o'clock now. I've been to a boot sale this morning, but yeah, fresh and awake. Yeah, exciting times. Let's get in there. I think I've worked out their system. Every house that's participating, either today, tomorrow or last week it was on, seems to have bunting up. So I'm looking for the houses with bunting, which makes it a lot easier. But obviously I've got to make sure they're actually out and I'm at my first one now so let's see what the hell's going on so this is what I mean by all the bunting but I think a lot of them done it last week there's a stall coming up hello How much are the DVDs? Okay. I'll grab that one then, please. Is this sort of look out for the bunting? Is that the thing? Or, yeah. I knew it was on last week. Yeah. But yeah, there's a tile, so I think you go down and cover it Yeah. Okay. That's right. That's that one. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for that. Have a drive around then. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. Okay, so we're off the mark with a 50p buy and a bit of a fail. But normally your first buy of the day at a boot sale or something is, tends to be one of the worst ones. Chance this at 50p. Little Britain or Comic Relief does Little Britain live. Obviously, Little Britain's been cancelled, cancel culture. I won't get into that, but ridiculous. So, yeah, stuff like this. Little Britain series have been hot at the moment. Obviously, the price is coming down, and uh, now sort of the wave has gone. But yeah, 50p, for a chance, it get talking to one of the stall holders, see what's going on. And yeah, it's only worth sort of 3 99 plus postage. So, profit to be made if you're a media buyer and you buy in bulk. Obviously, with me, I want to buy less, sell it for more. But yeah, gets me off the mark. Might even give it a watch before I sell it. Could even list it in the car. Picture it here, quickly list it, see if it sells on the way. Right, let's find some more. Hi there. Morning. I haven't got that gin store. No, just having a he little brown. He didn't want to get rid of any of his. No? Oh. No, because he's a hoarder. <laughs> he's got loads of fishing stuff and that, but he didn't really want to get involved. No, this is just out of mine and my daughter's clothes. Yeah, that's fine. Only 14s and larger sizes and hundreds of it, as you can see. I'm not quite. We've got a... Uh, Lots eight... of pink nighties that I don't wear anymore. Yeah. We've got eight and ten year olds, so... Um, and I'm going to get the lamp as well, so... That's the lamp and the... Uh... Yeah, we'll keep them still like things like that, just nostalgic, isn't it? 
How much did you want for the whole box? If that works um, out better. How's your Right, so it'd be 20? Yeah, I was gonna say that. If that was like oops, oops. dropping your postcard. I'll take that one if I put it to one side for a minute yeah. or I keep uh, looking around. It's got a top but it's I can't chop okay. off. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, I'll yeah. just look over here first yeah. and then uh, give you some money. Right, so a lot more successful from them two. The first one was just women's clothes, some sort of children's clothes, not the right age for our children. But I'm here to resell, make some money. Uh, second one looked like he's a bit of a sort of vintage antique dealer. They had all sort of fancy labels on the net. I've got this box full of Viewmaster bits. There's three main ones. This one's really early. It looks like it's made of Bakelite, which is cool. Uh, Sawyer's Viewmaster. So there's three of these. There's one of these ones. Put these up loads of times. Yeah, so I've paid 20 for this. This will pay for the whole lot itself. This should be sort of 25 pounds, 25, 30. So already in profit just with that on its own. We've got the Bakelite one and another. Looks like Bakelite, sort of brown plastic. Another really early one. See, so yeah, awesome. Uh, everything I find, I'm not the most comfortable negotiator as it is, as you probably tell from the videos. Get a bit better at boot sales find them with these yard sales you're in their home on their drive with their stuff it's just you all eyes on you that pressure Whew. gotta get used to that bit so yeah paid 20 which is fair enough really as i'm making all my profit and then some more with that and then everything else is pure profit and everything else I've got loads and loads of reels and flicking through those like movies there's princess diana's wedding I don't know what's in these. Um, so that'd be a bit of fun scrolling through them and little bundles on eBay. Could do sort of sets of four or five or if there's a set that all matching or set similar theme type thing. Get sort of £15, £20 maybe. All depends on the category. If it's random sea view shots and stuff. Um, Queen Elizabeth II Coronation. I reckon that could be worth a little bit maybe. A couple of them. I don't know if there's a complete set of them. Got Brussels as well. Got all sorts. That'll be quite fun next week. Scrolling through them. Seeing what could go with what. Little bundles. Bundle it with a Viewmaster itself. Get a bit more. Should we go to another one? Let's find some more. It's getting fun. Okay, so I've been notified and I've just realised that the bunting is from VE Day. The 75th anniversary VE Day street party. Which is weeks ago. Maybe even months ago. It's still up. But that makes sense. I thought I was looking for bunting. But yeah. There you go. Hi there. Oh, Looked out for the beetle from the Hi. post. Oh. <laughs> Oops. You recognised it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quite cool. It's for sale. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the beetle is? Yeah, as well. That'd be nice, that would shock the wife. <laughs> Keep you busy though. Yeah. They always need something doing. Yeah. How much was you asking on that one? Um, we're asking five. Okay. It does go. We yeah. It, um, but all we'll need to do is we've got a reasonably new engine as well. Okay. It's a 1600 twin cam engine. Nice. So my father-in-law used to have a uh, camper van. Yeah. It's a proper bus one. It's on my bucket list. Get one of them or a... Uh, Camper van type yeah. thing. <laughs> How much was you asking on like that one? One fifteen. Yeah. 
And I've also got, if you do baking at all, for little, for children if you've got Okay, them. so like for biscuits or cookies yeah, is it? Yeah, for biscuits, cookies. That's quite cool. As you can see they've hardly been used, they've yeah. just been in the loft. Yeah, just have a clear out sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, any excuse. <laughs> Is that, is that like a 50p? Yeah. Two pound, yeah? yeah. I'll hang on to them then. Is that more around here, is it? Yeah, so. Anything you see. Okay. Have yeah, I have a wonder. We're doing a boot sale tomorrow, we're selling. So we've had a clear out as well. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're taking more stuff. Yeah, and bringing more stuff back. The bric-a-brac today, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to sort of follow. I've come down from Chelmsford, oh, I've driven down a bit. I saw the group in that, so right. let's get them bits down for them. Sure. Even the cassettes as well. Yeah, more. <laughs> uh, there you go. Can have a look, yeah. VHS players, yeah. speakers. Yeah. I haven't got mail yet, that's it. I can have a look if that's okay, yeah? Yeah, if you want to look at it. What are you after? Do you anything particular? Uh, I don't know. I'll just have a look, really. <laughs> Sounds good, there. They're literally stacked in the garage, because that's what we had out last week. Okay. And haven't bought it through. Yeah. Okay. So, so I want to come in, or shall I wait? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all on here, how much you can see, I don't know. That's a VHS recorder, that's a DVD recorder. There's a the speakers for the record turntable. What's that one? Oh, that's a cocktail fountain. That's a VHS camera. Nice, all the equipment sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Is that a video camera? Oh, is that just a case? case? Okay. That's just a case. The camera fit in, the, in that case, fits in that case if you don't want to take that case with. A pair of speakers, loads of small speakers at the front. All the remotes that it's like in here. Yeah, the remote the controllers. Goes, the various yeah. pieces, loads of phones. <laughs> How much was you asking for, like the video player? Twenty quid for each one. Okay. <laughs> so I'll leave it for now then. But, uh, yeah, thanks for showing me. No problem. Appreciate that. I was allowed out the back in that one, but unfortunately, too pricey. Twenty pound each per VHS player. Obviously not plugged in. So sitting in a garage. So highly unlikely they were going to work. Yeah, that was a shame. There's, uh, yeah, what else was there? There's a DVD recorder, but again, bit pricey at twenty pound each. Again, untested. So that was a shame. I got a bit excited then. That was a nice Beetle, five grand. But yeah, couldn't really surprise Amy with that. But I did get a couple of bits, smaller bits again. Paid two pounds. So yeah, pound each. Got a nice vintage Italian ravioli set. Sort of a stainless steel type thing, nothing blow away, but just a really cool thing. Yeah, don't make them like they used to, not just a plastic thing, stainless steel, make some ravioli. Hasn't got the rolling pin, but yeah, this should be from a pound, like 15-ish pound. Easy to post, not complaining like that. And then with it, chuck this in, 1985 Wilton. So vintage again, older than me, like a stainless steel, like cookie maker or cookie mold, just teddy bears. Looking it up, this should be sort of another 12-ish pound. Um, again, easy to post, just make sure it doesn't bend. Uh, so from a pound, cheap and cheerful. That seems to be what it's all about today. People aren't putting out high-end stuff, it seems. I've put a post out on their Facebook page if anyone has got vintage electronics or anything. No replies yet. But yeah, cheap and cheerful profits, still making money. And yes, this is more of a curiosity, sort of fun type thing for me on a Saturday afternoon on my own without the kids and wife. Right, let's find another one. It should be in his drawer. Um, you know, in his, where, where are people? It should be in
So just a big dog carrier type thing, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah for the back of the car. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, anywhere really. But yeah, yeah we've, we've had it in there. Cause we've, we've only got a little like sausage dog. Oh, have you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I put I, well put the big big bed in there and this. Yeah. <laughs> Our one's got a gob on there as well, <laughs> <laughs> like a Doberman uh, bark and a little, on a little dash hound. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How much is your little espresso machine? Oh, ten pounds. Okay. So you put your yeah beans in and Be uh, or or grounded. Grounded, yeah. and then I think you do something or other. Push it all in. The, the instructions. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've used it once. Another sale, another pickup. Uh, we've got a Bella uh, espresso coffee machine looks clean they said they've used it like once or twice which i believe looks like excellent sort of like new condition it's got all the bits and bobs paid 10 pounds uh it's like an unknown brand type thing but it looks nice got metal finish sort of 80 pound on amazon they are or they were when they were brand new so i'm guessing sort of 35 maybe 40 obviously get, make sure it's testing and working even though it's in good condition only used once still got to test it Make sure there's no sort of lime scale clogging things up and stuff on the steamer. But yeah, nice little unit. Again, no frills, coffee machine. Uh, that seems to be the theme. Lots of kids toys, kids clothes that are sort of not worth anything. So yeah, if this was like a boot sale, these are the sort of stores I'd probably just rock it past. You sort of glance over, I'd move on to the next one. But instead I'm having to look at every stall. So then it's a drive to the next stall. Whereas in the field, stall, 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 stall. So that's one of the benefits of a boot sale. Let's try and find some more. Hopefully we get a bit more extra luck and get some cool vintage stuff, hopefully. That's the plan to go with the Viewmasters. Hello. Hello, man. Very, very easy actually from India. Um, oh, is it? So he's like 25 for that because it was yeah. about 100, 200 quid, I think. Yeah. That's a big one, yeah. yeah. So there's a sound speaker, is it? As yeah. Well? yeah. How much is that one? That's um, just a tenner. It's all working, it's I think. It's all working, things, yeah. but I haven't got a remote for it. That's the only Okay. Thing. I'll take that one. Okay. Please, yeah. Let's have a little bit. <laughs> are they all different prices? The oh, all, all, the sh all the trainers in there are pretty much a three pound each. Is the other one in here somewhere? It should be. It should be. Yeah. Oh, I think I've just found it actually. Yeah. 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 Cool. I'm trying to cars just there. Right, um, yeah, I'll get with that, please. 15. Cheers, Thanks for that. Thanks Thank you. Well. Cheers. So it's easily the best stall by far. Picked up three things and we finally. Got an electronic item. Got this LG soundbar. Hasn't got the remote, unfortunately, and it would have sold better with the subwoofer. But as it is, £10 for the LG soundbar. Can't see the model number. The soundbars are normally selling well. Uh, obviously, an up to date piece of technology. Looking on eBay, if I did have the subwoofer with it and it's all good and working, that goes for like 80 quid. Um, and that's even collection only. So, soundbar only, and I'm willing to post it out. I'm probably going to try. 50 to 70 plus postage so again open it up to the world depends who wants it i don't mind sending it wherever get it packed up and safe bargain price at a tenner with a good return finally uh, the box of trainers as well all three pound each but for three items i paid 15 so i saved the pound woohoo got a pair of adidas response trial 20s really good condition look hardly used at all uh, so what's that two pound 50 this should be an easy like 20 quid Size seven, I believe, women's. Then probably the best pickup are these trainers and brand new with tags. These are Hoka or Hoka. Uh, there is a name, Hoka 11 or Hoka 11, however you say it. Never know how to pronounce things. Brand new with tags, again, size seven. Uh, I think they're a women's design, going on what I've seen. And brand new, these are quite expensive. These can be sort of 70, 80 pound brand new from the shops. And on eBay, this is comfortably minimum 60 quid. Obviously, I've got the other pair here. Here we go. And obviously, they've got the tags. They've definitely never, ever been worn. Brand spanking new. £2.50 into £60. That's more like it. So unless there's actually any more nearby, I've noticed quite a lot 
but it's yeah lots of baby stuff i'm keeping an eye on the facebook page people are advertising their stalls so i can actually have a brief sneak peek instead of driving in and having a look yeah lots of baby clothes lots of women's clothes so not too much of interest for me and i'm actually around the corner to lee charity shops uh on the on the seafront and lee i think came top of my charity shop championship before that got cancelled so it might be worth parking up if i can go around a few charity shops find some more bargains to fill up the bag so i skipped to a bit later i've done a few more of the um yard sales and it, yeah again kids stuff women's stuff nothing of interest really so there wasn't anything to film I did try Lee Broadway um, charity shops. None that I saw were open. I have got one more thing to do before I wrap up this video and that's to hand deliver a sale at a distance, of course. As I mentioned last boot sale video, I think it was Sunday, I'm starting to do what I pick up. So this stuff, once it's pictured in that, it's gonna be on Instagram stories, links in the description. It'll be on Instagram stories for 24 hours for subscribers. So for example, these shoes, Obviously, I'm going to be listing sort of 60 to 70 subscriber special, probably like 40, 45 pounds. Then just message me on Instagram, sort out payment. Jobs are good and you get a good deal. I get a good deal. Nice and quick in and out. That went really well the first time around. And Joel, he was on morning ready. He's my best man at my wedding. He bought the cricket stumps uh, for 30. Uh, so I'm at his now. They're going to quickly drop them off. And then that'll be the end of the video. So let's go and deliver them. Doggy, <laughs> I have a Alex, hand delivery Alex. for Mr. Squires. Alex, get in, please, doggy. Let's Come on, in you get. Social distance, doggy. Sorry, boy. <laughs> oh, there wait a minute. What are you saying? Yeah, that's it. No that's doubt. It. So, uh, world. Thank hand you, deliver. Sir. Thank you very much. Look at that. Hand, hand delivered. delivered. Special from, delivery. Hand <laughs> delivered from retro reselling. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, boy? That's me done. Sourcing done. Jumble trail done delivered my stumps to my good friend Joel. I did a little practice, they work well. Quality merchandise, if I don't say so myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Have that on your chip, you stupid <laughs> Because I looked, I would have been all right. <laughs> yeah. The blind line back. Didn't we used to do that? <laughs> yeah. no, no, look. <laughs> this is it. Gone. Yes. <laughs> Good to see him again. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Overall, yeah, it was good fun. Uh, I probably wouldn't rush out. It's not, obviously, I've picked up a few good things, but it's not like the good quality stuff like boot sales. Uh, it's obviously lots of spread out, so lots of driving. But yeah, overall, it was good fun. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if not already for all sorts of reselling type videos on eBay, Amazon, Depop, boot sales, charity shops, auctions, the whole lot. Tomorrow's Sunday, we're selling at a boot sale, so that's, I'll try and film, I don't know what I'll get. So yeah, look out for that video, hopefully next week, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.